With all this snow coming down at Mount Bachelor, people are preparing for a powder day. But if you're thinking about sharing your pass or borrowing someone else's, I would think twice. Over the weekend, I witnessed a snowboarder get caught for using someone else's pass. The lift operator pulled him out of line, and law enforcement handled it from there. When I asked about the situation, the lifty told me Mount Bachelor is offering bonuses to employees who catch pass fraud. I reached out on Facebook and multiple people claim catching fraudsters will secure a $75 bonus. The mountain saying in a statement, a guest who chooses to fraudulently use a pass that is not their own will be asked to leave and could face penalties. These penalties include being escorted from the mountain, paying the current day's ticket price, paying a restitution fee, and being handed off to authorities over theft of service. One skier says she can see both sides. I get it, you need to make money, or the mountain needs to make money, but I don't know that it's going to deter anyone. I think people just figure out another way to do it. Wagner says she understands why people would split a pass. If I didn't have a good job that I knew would continue and be steady, I don't think I could afford to ski, you know. Another man says Bachelor is a business. That seems fair, right? You know, I mean, the mountains are a business and and it just seems fair that you should have to buy a pass to do it. The Mountain says if someone agrees to share their pass, both the borrower and the sharer will face consequences. Mount Bachelor will continue to look for fraudulent passes. Morgan Gwynn, Central Oregon Daily News.